We're going to break every Brawler super based off of how deadly it would be in real life. Go in alphabetical order here, starting off with 8-bit, and uh, we're gonna go with no damage. I don't know exactly how 8-bit super, like, increases your damage. I, I don't imagine it, it, like, necessarily would feel good, but it, uh, you know, it boosts damage. But maybe you'd feel, like, inspired by it or something like there's a cool light show and you're like cool now i can do more damage i, I don't know okay next we have amber super and this is a pretty obvious deadly <laughs> now this is a little bit of a weird one because amber super i guess technically she just throws fire fluid at you and that by itself might not actually be painful but if you get caught on fire which you know is going to happen with amber afterwards like oh that is really excruciating to think about. Like, oh, oh, very deadly, excruciatingly painful. Definitely something I do not want to experience in my life. Okay, next we have Ash. I'm gonna go with painful. He throws out these little mouse spots that like chase after you and explode. The explosions, like, yeah, they, they look like they could be damaging, but they're, they're pretty small. I imagine you could just step on them like a little firecracker and like, you might take a little bit of damage. It might be a little bit painful. I, I have a hard time imagining you're gonna die from it. Next we have Barley's and this is pretty similar to Amber. I'm gonna go with deadly. For a super, he throws out multiple Molotov cocktails that explode out and like you're taking fire damage from that, right? So it's really deadly. There's a very good chance you might die and uh, you don't want to be anywhere near that thing. Up next, we have B super definitely painful. She shoots out a bunch of bees that sting you. I don't know about you guys. If you've never been stung by a bee, it, it's not something that you want to feel. It most likely is not going to kill you unless you're allergic, but it's painful. Next, we have Belle, and I'm putting her below Ash in the painful tier. She fires out this, like, electro bolt that would definitely deal damage. It's going to hurt. It's not going to kill you. It just might shock you a little bit. Like, I mean, unless you have a heart condition, I don't think a taser is going to kill you. Well, I mean, maybe. I don't know. We're getting out of my expertise here. The point is, most likely, no lasting permanent damage, just a little bit painful, you know? Up next, we got BB. I'm going with no damage. BB Super is a giant bubble gum ball. I, I wouldn't want to get stuck in it, but it's not going to do any damage. It's not going to be painful. It, you might have to, like, shave your hair or something like that afterwards, but, like, that's not permanent damage at all. Like, it'll grow back. It's not a big deal. Okay, next we got Bo, and here's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to actually change multiple casualties to guaranteed death. I feel like that makes a little bit more sense. You know, you got Barley and Amber. They're deadly, but they might not necessarily kill you. You, whereas like bows, it is a mine. And if you stand on it, it explodes in real life, unless you're in a tank, even if you're in a tank or a vehicle or something like that, you're gone. So guaranteed death. Okay. Bonnie's a funny one because for one of her supers, she literally just climbs into a cannon, which is like zero damage. Right. But the next one would be, she is firing at you from a cannon. I mean, she might die. And you're probably going to take some damage here. You know, I, I, I'm going to go with painful. Like, I can't think of a situation where somebody's actually going to be firing a small child out of a cannon to hit you. But if you got hit by it and they're wearing a helmet, you're, it, yeah, it's painful. Maybe even deadly. I don't know. Who comes up with these things? I mean, come on. Next, we got Brock. This is no questions, right? Guaranteed death. His super rains down explosive missiles. And like, <laughs> if you, it only takes one in real life for you to die. But he fires nine of them. Like, there's no way you're surviving. Next, we got Bull. I'm putting him in painful. Bull charging at you, his muscular body. It reminds me very much of what it would be like to be tackled in American football. Football, right? It's going to hurt. You're not going to die, but it's still not as damaging as a five-year-old child being shot out of a cannon at you. Next, we got Buster. He's our first feels good super. For Buster Super, he projects out a movie for you to watch. <laughs> and depending on how good that movie is, you could feel good. It also might do emotional damage to you, but like, you know, like, we don't watch stuff that makes us feel bad, right? We, we, we watch stuff that entertains us. You, you guys are having fun, right? Buster's showing one of my videos to you. He's also telling you to subscribe, probably. <laughs> Next, we got Buzz. I'm going to go with no damage, which, I mean, if you got hit in the head really, 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 really hard with, like, a life-saving buoy, then, okay, it might take, you might dealt a little bit of damage. It might hurt a little bit, but ultimately, he's going to save you. He's going to rescue you from a life-threatening situation, and it's like a floaty, like a pool floaty, right? Like, you're you're not gonna get hurt, you're gonna get saved. Next we got Byron, and this could be literally anywhere on here, but just for the sake of it, I'm gonna go with feels good. Byron's potion will either deal a lot of damage to you or heal you depending on his relationship with you. <laughs> if you're his friend, it's gonna be like a good feeling potion that remedies you from all of your ailments, right? But I don't know. <laughs> 
does it work? I don't understand. Does he think angry thoughts while he's mixing the potion or while he throws it at you? Ah, uh, I don't know. This is beyond me. We'll just go with feels good just because. Oh, next we got Carl's super. This is an interesting one. I'm going to go with deadly. I just want you to a picture somebody with a pickaxe spinning around like a psychopath and getting close enough to where they can actually hit you like that that could kill you in the least it's going to be incredibly painful like oh oh i just like the pickaxes are used to break apart sturdy heavy rocks right like you don't want that just like uh Anybody else feel a little squeamish here? <laughs> Unless we got Charlie, I'm gonna put her in no damage. We're gonna put her right here and I'm gonna move this just a little bit like that. Just cause. Charlie will shoot something at you and somehow get you caught in a web of her yo-yo string, which is not painful. It's annoying, that's for sure, but no damage. Okay, next we got Chester. I'm gonna go with feels good. All of his supers are just candy, right? Like Pop Rocks, mm, tasty. Jawbreaker, also tasty. Salmiaki, that's like salt licorice. I think it's tasty. Other people might die from it. A strong mint, like, come on. The one scary one might be like candy popper, but I also think of Pop Rocks when I think of that. Like, ah, this is delicious. I love me some good candy. <laughs> okay, next we got Chuck. Guaranteed death here, okay? Okay. okay, maybe getting a signpost thrown at you isn't guaranteed death, but getting ran over by a train, like, nobody's making that alive out of that. That's, that's terrifying. That is nightmare fuel. Next, we got Colonel Ruffs, also guaranteed death. Yes, he is sending you a care package, and if you pick up the care package, it's like, cool, I feel boosted. I feel happy. This is great. I love the care package. Thanks, Colonel Ruffs. But if you get hit by it, I mean, that thing came from space. I don't care what's in the care package. By the time it hits the ground, it's going so fast that you're going to die. That's just what's going to happen. Unless we got Colette, I'm going with no damage. She literally just takes her scrapbook and she charges after you and tries to get you to sign it. Like, it might be kind of annoying. Or maybe you like being famous and signing your autograph, but like, if anything, just slightly annoying, no damage. Next, we got Colt, guaranteed death. But like, also just kind of deadly. Okay, here's why. For his super, he shoots six or 12 shots at you with his gun, his Colt pistol, and uh, 12 bullets, that's that's pretty much guaranteed death. I have heard of people surviving worse than that, but I've also heard of people surviving and getting run over by a train, so I don't know. Like, <laughs> I think it's safe to assume that that's guaranteed death. 12 shots, that's that's a lot. <laughs> okay, next is Cordelius. Um, strangely enough, no damage, but uh, probably over here. Getting sent to the Shadow Realm and then coming out of it, you know, a few seconds later, is not this i mean it's not gonna kill you right it might be the most terrifying thing in your life but like physical damage you're probably gonna be just fine even if you're a little insane afterwards next we have crow i'm going with deadly here for a super he throws out a bunch of poison tipped daggers and they go in all sorts of different directions so it's like likely that you'll get hit by one or two it might kill you uh, depending on what the poison is i have no idea you might be able to survive it like the, the, yeah it's deadly but i am going to put it like right down here yeah that makes more sense I think. Unless we got Daryl, uh, definitely painful. He's like a robot in a barrel and then that barrel rolls over you. It's going to deal some damage. You might crack a rib or two. Probably not going to die though. And uh, yeah, who comes up with these supers? These are so weird. <laughs> like, I'm going to roll over you. Whoa. Mm. Oh, Doug definitely feels good. Yeah, baby. In fact, oh, that's a hard call. I like candy more than I like hot dogs, but I do love hot dogs and uh, Doug giving you a hot dog. I mean, this is tasty. This is it going to make you feel good, right? Let me know in the comment section below if you think that candy or hot dogs are tastier. Dynamite? Yeah, guaranteed death. Pretty high up there, too, I'd say. He throws out a barrel of TNT and various other explosives. Like, if you get hit by that point blank, you're gone. Like, so gone, there might not be any of you left over. This video, man, this is like, this, this is making me feel things I wasn't expecting to feel. Okay, next we got Edgar, um, painful. I'm just thinking like a teenage guy just like jumping on top of you. Like, I have a hard time imagining they'd be able to like jump that high. Like if they jumped off a building onto you, yeah, you could get hurt, but that's not what's happening here. He just jumps like an average teenager jump onto you. Like, yeah. And I, I'm, yeah, if he's trying to do damage, it might hurt, but it's not going to be like deadly, right? El Primo, however, yeah, that's uh, that's going to hurt a lot, quite a bit more. I mean, he's a professional wrestler who lands on you with his intergalactic flying elbow drop, like with the intention of dealing a lot of damage. 
Ooh, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> Still not quite as bad as a kid being fired out of a cannon at you, but definitely a lot more than a barrel rolling over you, right? Okay, next we got M's. I'm going with uh, no damage. I don't think it's hairspray. It is described as a cloud of toxicity. The thing is, is I don't even think that it's like physically toxic, like you're going to die if you inhale it. I think it's talking about the toxicity of Ems' personality, right? Like she's just like, <clears throat> like you're not going to take damage, right? Like maybe emotional damage, but like I can ignore someone being a little toxic, you know? Okay, next we got Eve and I, I could put her anywhere between deadly and painful, I think. I'm going to just... I'll put it right above B. Eves's hatchlings are these little alien creatures that are venomous and they jump on you, they latch onto you. I, depending on how that venomous reaction is going to be, you might be guaranteed dead. You might just take a little bit of pain. It might be like a little bug bite, you know? Okay, next we got Fang. I'm going with painful. Just one thing to keep in mind here, Fang is not a kung fu master. He just thinks he is. He's just some regular dude that works at a movie theater and decides to kick you in the face. And that's gonna hurt but it's probably not going to be like, you might even be able to dodge it. I don't know, we'll go with painful. Next we have Frank and we're gonna go with no damage. Keep in mind that Frank's hammer is not actually what hits people. It's the shock wave that happens when he hits the ground. So just imagine a big hammer hitting the ground like five feet from you. That's Frank super. Nothing's gonna happen. Like you might like fall over. I don't know, but like, yeah. Next we have Gale. I'll, I'll put him right above Frank here, okay? Gale just takes a snowblower and literally just blows wind at you. It's a big gust of wind. It's probably more likely to make you fall over than Frank's hammer, but still, like, not that big of a deal. Next we got Gene. I'm gonna go with no damage. Uh, maybe, okay, okay. We'll, we'll put him at the very bottom of painful. This really just comes down to Gene's grip strength. Like, if he reaches out with his giant mystical hand and he just grips you really good, <laughs> it, might, it might hurt. It might not do anything. Next we got gray um we're gonna go with no damage his super is a couple of portals and you just teleport between the two i don't know what teleportation feels like but if people are able to heal things to a star power every time they do it i imagine it doesn't hurt okay next we got griff i'm putting him in feels good for a super he throws out bank notes at people like literal cash at you like you might get paper cut you might be like Ooh, wow that was that was a bad paper cut, but like, thanks for the money. I, I love getting money. And speaking of which, this video is sponsored. No, it's not sponsored by anybody, <laughs> but you can use code Kairos. The point is, even if you take a little bit of damage from the money, you're going to be pretty happy with it. It feels good, right? Okay, next we got Grom. Um, yeah, deadly, definitely. His super, I mean, it looks like a ball and chain, but it is described as a bomb that is big enough to explode and break walls. So if you get hit by that, hmm. Yeah, I don't think you're making it. Next is Gus, no damage. I can't think of a single time I've been hurt by a balloon. And that's what his super is. He shoots out a balloon at you that actually shields you, right? Like it might make you happy. I don't know. I don't love getting hit in the face by a balloon, but no matter how hard my kids try, it doesn't, it doesn't hurt. Hank's a funny one because he's also attacks with a balloon, but his super are fish torpedoes. Uh, yeah. That's, that's painful. Also, why did I put Grom way down here? He's like, you know, at least by dynamite. And Hank is as well. If you get hit by fish torpedoes, like even if they look like a fish, torpedo's a torpedo, right? It, it, you're gonna be in the middle of the ocean. You get hit by that. There's no way you're making it out. You're gone. It's done so. Next we got Jackie, no damage. The thing about Jackie Super is, yes, it's a jackhammer, but you don't get hit by the jackhammer. It just like pulls you in because of the earthquake that happened. So it's it's very much like Frank's hammer. It, it might make you fall over, but might not okay next we got janet she's like second here okay maybe even first i don't know let me see okay i just counted while she's flying around she drops seven bombs whereas brock drops nine now also brocks are all concentrated in one area if you get hit by that you're gone whereas she kind of like this like i fly over and drops them as she goes so you're less likely to take damage for more than one i don't know why i'm trying to describe all the nuances between how many bombs you'd get hit by and how many you don't and the point is you're getting slammed, you're gone. Okay, next we got Jesse. This might be a little bit controversial. I'm gonna go with painful. I always imagined that Jesse's super turret dog thing didn't shoot real bullets. I always imagined it like an airsoft or like a paintball, right? Like it, it's a toy and it shoots at you multiple times and that sucks and that can be painful. You can get bruises and welts and stuff like that. You're probably not gonna die though. I don't know, if it's actually shooting like a gun at you, then <laughs> deadly, you're, you're gone, but you know. Okay, next we got Kit and I'm gonna go with painful. A cat jumping onto your face and scratching you all over. 
That, that's brutal. You're probably not going to die from it, but that's that's pretty rough. Okay, next we got Larry and Laurie. Um, we're going to go with Deadly. Oh, I was completely wrong. Um, we're going to go with uh, Painful, actually. They shoot out taser guns, so they are meant to be painful. They are not meant to kill. These are security guards here. They're not trying to kill. They're just trying to, like, calm things down a little bit. Okay, next we got Leon. Um, no damage. He's literally just going to go invisible, and then you can't see him anymore. That's... That's his, his super. <laughs> Next, we got Lola. No damage here. She summons her shadowy self, which isn't going to do any damage. I guess they do it. It does attack out with like these light attacks, which light attacks, they might like her tries a little bit, but like, nah, probably not a big deal. Next, we got Lou. Um, this is personal preference here. I'm going to go with feels good. For his super, he throws down an ice skating rink. And I personally love ice skating, rollerblading, ice skating, whatever. I love it so much. It's so much fun. It makes me feel good. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, other, if it doesn't make you feel good, I guess no damage. I mean, if you fall over, like you might take a little bit of damage. Yeah, you get where I'm coming from. Next, we got Maisie. I'm going to go with painful here. So Maisie's super is an explosion of fire retardant. So like if there's a fire, you put it out with with her super, right? That's basically what it is. It might knock you back. It might hurt a little bit. It probably isn't going to be that bad, but like painful enough to cause you to fall back, right? So I don't know. We'll go with that. Next, we got Mandy. Okay, another candy brawler. Yeah, feels good, but not quite the variation as Chester. So it's a little bit less feels good, right? Like her, her super is literally a ray of sugary candy that just flies across at you. And it's like you, you try and grab a bite of it as it goes by and it's delicious. Next, we got Max. I'm going to go with feels good here. I don't know what it is about her being able to cause other people to be able to run faster, but like it probably feels good to be able to just randomly run faster, right? Then again, maybe people aren't used to it and they like fall over and like run into stuff. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Meg's super deadly. Yeah, we'll go with deadly here. Well, she's in her mecha and she has her super charged up. She swings a giant sword. Yeah, yeah you're probably not going to survive it. Even if it was like a metal pipe, right? Like that's going to knock you out at least. Uh, yeah, that's stay away from that. Okay, next we got Miko here. I just want you to imagine you're in the Amazon rainforest and a, a monkey jumps out of a tree above you and lands on your face like it could be a, a big monkey. I don't know, biggest monkey that lives in trees that could possibly jump on you, but like <laughs> it could kill you, I think. I I mean, it probably would, right? Deadly, deadly, definitely painful. I'm going with deadly. We're also going with Mortis and deadly as well. I think that most people watching this video could probably handle one bat that is like flying around you, but a whole swarm of them, there's a good chance one of them is going to be rabid. You're going to be infected with something that's going to kill you. Absolutely get your rabies shot after this happens. Uh, I mean, but still deadly, I'd say. Next, we're going to go with uh, Mr. P and we're going to go with painful. I don't know for sure what his little porters are shooting out at people. They look like little ice pellets. Like I, I kind of put them along the same lines as Jesse's turret, actually. Like it's pr it could hurt a lot. That's probably not going to kill you. Next, we got Nani and I'm going to go with Gary guaranteed death. Yeah, right here. It's basically a drone that can fly around and like explode right next to you no matter where you are. It's not as explosive as like, you know, Bo's three mines or Hank's six torpedoes or Grom's giant bomb, but you're probably pretty much guaranteed death. Oh, okay, next we got Nita. Deadly, 100%. Nita's super is a giant bear that will maul you. Like, I I know that there have, are people that have survived being mauled by this is like so cryptic you get where i'm coming from deadly stay away okay next we got otis i'm gonna go with painful i actually look had to look this one up for his super he throws out a starfish at you now a lot of starfish typically aren't going to be harmful in fact i've i've played with one before it was cool as an aquarium but some of them can release venom if you like go and mess around with them too much so like it's not supposedly deadful but it can sting okay next we got pam um yeah feels great we're gonna put it you know right below the the candy people right in fact you know what apish should probably be down here as well i started with him i wasn't sure how i felt about him i feel like they both deserve you know feels good i don't know what they are pumping out with those turrets but uh they're healing they're boosting your damage to make you they're increasing your morale they feel good so yeah we'll go with that all right next we got pearl i'm going with deadly for her super she is an oven that gets so hot that it literally explodes out most likely you're going to die. You're not guaranteed death, you know, but yeah, it's pretty deadly. Next we have Penny, also deadly. She spawns a cannon that shoots cannonballs at you. I don't know how many of you guys have been hit by a cannonball. <laughs> I, I certainly haven't. <laughs> Otherwise, I probably wouldn't be here. This painful is deadly, right? Okay, next we got Piper. Uh, guaranteed death, baby. <laughs> 
You like how I said that? Like I was so excited. <laughs> she drops four grenades in a centralized location. Um, yeah, you don't want that. As we got Poco in the feels good category. For Super, he strums out a serenade of wonderful music that uh, is serendipitous. I don't really know what that means, but it's another S word and I was using a lot of them, so. Okay, next we got Rico. Um, I'm gonna go with uh, Painful. Yeah, right there. His Super is basically a bunch of bouncy balls being fired at you rapidly. Like, they're gonna be hurt. They might even leave some welts and stuff, but you're gonna be fine. Next is Rosa. We're gonna go with no damage. Damage. She'll just like stand in front of you, then all of a sudden she'll have a shield around her, and you'll be like, Whoa, cool. Next, we have RT, also no damage. For a super, he splits in two, and that's the whole thing. <laughs> I mean, even afterwards, when he attacks, all he's doing is attacking with like strong, like radio frequencies or something like that. Like, it's not gonna do damage to you, you're fine. Next, we got Sam, painful. For a super, he sh throws out these like knuckle busters, they kind of look like bear traps. But I mean, they're they're probably not right. They can't possibly be those like jaws of steel. Anyway, definitely painful category. Okay, next we got Sandy. I'm gonna go with no damage. For a super, he throws out a sandstorm. And he, like the worst thing that could happen would be like some sand getting in your eyes, but you could just close your eyes. And in that case, you're gonna be fine. Um, still not, not pleasant, but no damage. Next we have Shelly, you're gone. In fact, yeah. Guaranteed death. Definitely above uh, Mr. Colt here. For her super, she shoots out a shotgun that has twice the shot of her regular attack. Like, ugh, you're gone. Okay, next we got Spike. And Spike's like somewhere around here, depending on how much protective gardening gear you have. I'll, I'll put him next to Kit because the pain's probably kind of similar. I don't know. <laughs> he spawns a bunch of cacti and you have to walk around all this pokey nonsense. Uh, pretty painful, especially if you don't have protective gear. Like, can you imagine just like falling into a bunch of cacti and like, ugh. In fact, we'll take Sprout and we'll put it here right next to Spike as well. Sprout is just another wall of cacti. It just, and it spawned right next to you. Like, oof, that would hurt. But, you know, probably not going to kill you. Next, we got Squeak. I'm going to go with right here. Squeak Super is entirely made of drool. Even if it explodes out, it's still drool. Like, that's just nasty. <laughs> like, maybe emotional damage, but no physical harm is going to come to you. Okay, next, we got Stu. I'm going to go with Deadly right here. His Super is basically like getting hit by a motorcycle that also leaves a trail of fire on you <laughs> like just just to make things a little bit worse right as deadly next we have surge and uh we're going with no damage oh i guess he's he does jump on you huh okay okay we'll go right above edgar no we have to go right above el primo Oh, what am I doing with RT? RT's down here. Surge is coming right above El Primo. It's a very similar thing. He jumps onto you, but instead of being a sumo wrestler, he's a robot, which could be very heavy. I mean, with the size that he is, I, I, I don't want to get hit by that. That's pretty painful. Next, we have Terra. Um, I'm gonna go with no damage. She basically uses, I mean, I, it's a black hole. Nobody can survive a black hole. I take it back. If, if you, well, is it a black hole? Yeah, okay, it's a black hole. We're going guaranteed death, very top, number one. Nothing can survive a black hole. It is literally the one place in the whole universe you cannot survive. I, like, I think so, right? You know, I don't wanna talk about it. Next we have Tick also guaranteed death. It's a landmine that can chase after you and then explodes. It's not three landmines like bows, but yeah, it's up there. Okay. Then we got Willow and she could literally be anywhere on here, depending on what she made you do with her mind control. We're going to put it at the bottom of deadly. Here's why. Even if your entire goal is to get somebody killed after you mind control them, you only have four seconds to do that. And there you have it. Every super rated based off of how deadly it is, or at least it would be in real life. I'm confident that nobody is going to disagree with me on anything. So definitely don't drop comments below telling me why I'm I'm completely wrong. <laughs> That's actually my favorite part of videos like this. So please let me know. Subscribe for more content. Check out this other video right here. We'll see you in the next one.